A growing number of people in Austin are taking the building process into their own hands, in some cases willing to face the fine instead of dealing with the city. KITV's Adam Rakusin asked how safe it is to go behind the city's back. The city of Austin is in the midst of a building boom. While some contractors and do-it-yourselfers pride themselves on the proper paperwork, a growing number of people bypassing the building permit process. They're kind of like, I'll build it and then just ask for forgiveness, you know. And then some people just don't know. KITV hit the road with an Austin code inspector to see just how often people get caught building without appropriate permits. So yeah, I already see a violation. The first complaint he investigated. I saw violations that stood out to me immediately mainly the porch cover and the home addition right there. A new addition to the home that's not in the plans. Right now, I'm filling out a stop work order. It means they can't commence any work from, from this point on until they get their permits. Between 2011 and 2014, the number of violation notices mailed out to Austin residents steadily increased, up to more than 900 in 2014, sometimes multiple violations for the same address. In that same time, the number of citations actually issued declined, down to only 34 in 2014. I work in a knit of construction with a bunch of old guys who have not pulled permits in 25 years. Worried to show his face on camera, this person says they started construction without a permit to save time and avoid the hassle of Austin's planning and development department, but got caught. In just permitting and hiring people to get permits, and, um, you know, just completely the paperwork side of things, I think we're looking at $4,000. KITV analyzed a list made up of thousands of addresses that received violation notices. Going door to door, we asked people why they didn't get the correct permits. No one would agree to an on-camera interview, but many told us they would rather be slapped with a fine for not getting a permit rather than wait through the city's process. It's a topic Austin's mayor and council tackling head on. We've requested plan of attack and action first for uh, dealing with the backlog of, of in the permitting process uh, and then dealing with the long term changes to make sure that on a going forward basis it, it works well. The planning and development department made a number of changes and added staff to try and curb the problem. In an interview with KITV earlier this year, the director of the planning and zoning department gave us his thoughts. The improvements that have been going on uh, would continue uh, going to electronic plan review, uh, also having uh, the ability to do more permitting online by payment of credit cards and actually receiving permits that will continue. Whether people know they are violating the rules or not, for Austin Code employees, it's about the safety. Even though they're doing the right thing and they're making it safer and they recognize a problem, they're still not getting the permit to make sure that they're doing it right. The city code currently sets the fine at double the amount of the permit for work without a permit. The Planning and Development Department tells us staff is looking into ways to create greater incentives for compliance. The department says as of today, there is no backlog with the commercial plan review. The residential review backlog could be gone in the next two weeks. Adam Rakusin, KITV News.